Hi everybody and welcome to my new video series. This series will be all around setting up a game room. From the different shelf systems to organizing supplies for your stuff and of course all about different decoration ideas etc as well. I get asked pretty often on my Instagram which shelf systems work best for game rooms and where to buy them. So I hope this series will be helpful to a lot of you guys out there. This video will be all about the most popular shelf systems that you can buy at a small budget. And no, of course this is not a sponsored video. IKEA is just one of the best solutions when it comes to setting up game rooms due to their modularity and of course their prices. So let's get started. The first shelf system I want to show you is even the most popular one, Billy. It's actually pretty cheap and you can get it in different colors and sizes. There are even doors available, so it becomes rather closed as a simple shelf. But that is something that I will show you in another video. The most common version is this Billy version. It comes with five case boards, which are all pretty flexible on where to add except the middle one. There are even additional case boards available, which I totally recommend you to buy if you plan to use a shelf for your games. Each of those case boards is able to hold up to 49 to 50 3DS games, 83 DS games, 50 PS2 games, and around 49 to 50 Wii U, Wii, GameCube, etc. games. The slim version that you can see has only half of the width of the common stand, but it has the same heat. This version holds up to 23 3DS games, 18 DS games and 24 PS2 games. And of course 23 Wii U, Wii, GameCube games and stuff like that. The small version is similar to the standard one, just the heat is different. It comes with two case boards and it is able to store the same amount of games as a standard one on each case board. And this is just a quick glance on how those IKEA Billy shelves look in my new game room. As you can see the shelves hold a lot of games and of course different stuff. I will do a new game room tour in a few weeks just after this series will be ended. So you will be able to see what my new game room looks like and how the old one has changed. The next shelf system I really want to talk about is the IKEA Kallax system. This one is pretty pretty cool and pretty effective for gamers, especially if you want to showcase all your consoles. Kallax is just a new name for the old Expedit series, but they really gave it a new twist by adding a lot of different systems, all the sizes, all possibilities that you can use, connect, there are new doors and stuff like that. In this picture you can see what my Kallax shelves look like in my new game room. I use them mostly for my retro consoles. The first Kallax system that is available out there is a 1x1 system. This is just a cube. Maybe this version is not available in every country. I've seen this one in Germany. I use this one in my game room as well, in my old game room. The Kallax shelves are available in different colors as well. In this case I show you white and black. The next version you can buy is a 1x2. This one is just like two of those cubes combined. Of course you can have the 2x2. <laughs> this one may be next to the 2x4, the most common version yet that you will see in most game rooms. It can store up to four consoles and is very flexible, so you're able to move those shelves around as well. The 1x4 is perfect to use it on the sides combined with a 4x4 for example. Then there is of course the most common one, the 2x4. You will see this version in games rooms everywhere. It's just a typical version. It has a perfect heat and of course the perfect width to store at least 8 of your consoles. The 4x4 version is pretty pretty huge, just for you to remember. But this one is pretty nice as well if you want to display your stuff perfect, if you want to display special games, special limited editions or of course if you have a huge collection of consoles. And just to mention there is even a 5x5 version, which is huge. <laughs> This is what my current setup looks like. As I told you, I will give you a very detailed room tour of this new room in the future. It's just for you to have an overview of what those retro consoles or new consoles look like in a room. And here I store some of my duplicates there at the moment. 
otherwise your shelves would be way too empty. This is the current state in my old game room. But as you can see, I never had real problems with the console to fit those shelves. They have the perfect size. There is another shelf system which is pretty underrated in my opinion, and this is the IKEA Gnetvi. I don't know if this is the right pronunciation. IKEA Gnetvi is is the media shelf that IKEA offers. So this one is actually pretty perfect to hold CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever you want to store. But this shelf is perfect as well for games, of course. Since most of the games have the same size as DVDs, this one holds up to 10 3DS games, 8 DS games, 11 PS2 games and 10 Wii U, Wii, GameCube, whatever games. These are pretty cheap and these are pretty small and they look perfect if you combine them. For example, I use them at the moment to store my Game Boy games and some Amiibos as well because Amiibos fit in there perfect as well. And this is how my current Game Boy collection looks like. This is just to show you that you can store your Amiibo there as well. The last version I want to talk about are all individual solutions. This means that you build on your own or cheap versions. The perfect thing about those individual solutions is that they can fit in every room. Of course, the problem is that you would need at least a little bit of craftsmanship. Another problem is that if you use, for example, a system that uses metal racks, as I am using in my old game room for my amiibos, the problem is that these need to be attached to the walls. So you aren't that flexible anymore when it comes to rearranging the rooms or stuff like that. But still, I want to say this one is a perfect solution if you want to stay flexible in what to store and if you allowed to attach anything to your walls. Otherwise, you would go way better with all those IKEA Billy versions or Kallax versions or stuff like that. This is just a very small picture of, of what the personal solution in my old game room looks like. I used those metal racks and on the sides there are two Gnetbees. And this is what it looks like with all the Amiibo stored in there. So this was my video about all the shelf systems. Of course there are way more possibilities and if you want to see something special or if you want to know about something special just leave me a comment. I just wanted to show you the most common versions and what they can store, what they can hold and how they can be used. There are a few options to store and organize your games in those shelves. I will talk about that in another video. So if you are interested in setting up a game room or just interested in watching how others do it, yeah, just look forward to the series. So I hope this video was helpful to you, at least a few of you and you enjoyed watching. See you in my next video. Bye!